Hello guys, this is Peter from PS Sound and in this video I would like to talk about my infinite buffer setup. Um, I just showed the car first, this is an estate car because I posted a video earlier on Facebook and many people were confused. They didn't understand how the hell the subs were moving and they didn't produce any sound. Well, they don't produce much until the tag gate is shut. Once it's shut the inside of the car becomes your box as such a big big box and then the other side of the subs is the outside space which is infinite so just to show you the underside of the car again that's where the subs are briefing to the outside um, that construction plywood construction is bought into an 18 mil steel frame which is welded to the floor pan that is solid and that's a fundamental um, criterion this structure has to be as solid as possible and um, yeah before you ask how I protect the subs underneath um, I've taken the grill off this is just a temporary grill a bit rusty after a few months obviously but Nothing can enter through this uh, rain guard form. You can see it on PA speakers as well. They are transparent and they don't let any moisture going through. And the subs are as clean as, as just like when they were brand new. Um, yeah, some of you were confused also about the corn movement. Because the subs move kind of against each other. In a sealed box, then, you know, you would get cancellation. But because this is not a box, it's it's a manifold as such. Um, this is the only way how they can work. Because then, if the subs were moving parallel, like how you would do in a sealed box, then one sub would push the air to the outside of the car, the other sub would push the air into the inside of the car. Now, they move kind of mirrored, so both of them push the air out at the same time to the inside of the car. It works. It definitely works. This is probably the best infra sub setup I've, I've ever heard. It, it goes low, very low. It's linear down to 9 hertz. But most importantly, there's nothing really limiting the, the cones. This can only work with subs which were designed for this. It doesn't work with any other sub. It has to be designed for infinite buffer or free air application. And then magic magic can happen. Um, I've made a small demonstration. So you will see that once the tag gate is shut, it can move air. A lot of air. It's, it's crazy. Um, yeah, I covered the windows uh, with the bike cover and I put a bottle to the top of the car so you will get a bit of movement and dancing. Fun, fun, fun. Let's put a fun track on that everyone knows. And there you go. So, bass I love you and it's even slowed down. So, yeah, it's fun. Ooh, thunderstorm outside, brilliant. There you go. So as you see... They move mirrored. And until the tie gate is open, they don't really move air. Now they just excite the whole airspace in the garage. But once I shut the tie gate, things go really mad. Let's just go back to that part. So let's shut the tie gate. And look at this now.
that's way under 20 hertz. Well, the whole carriage is moving. As well as the tower gate. So, it's capable. It's really capable of of moving, moving air, and creating quite high SPL levels, even if they run from maximum 700 watts. For really low music like this, you only need a fraction of that. Um, yeah, you have to be careful how, how far you push the subs, but realistically, these two are more than enough for an SQ sub. So yeah, this is where it is. If you have any questions, please comment and most importantly, subscribe. And in the next video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the rest of the car, what's going on here with that custom dashboard at the front um, or this Amprac, which is not finished yet. So yeah, please subscribe and uh, we will talk very, very soon. Take care.